Hey everybody, welcome back to another video from Breezy Organization. If you're new here today, we talk about all things productivity and having fun with our iPads and our Apple Pencils by using digital planners. These digital planners will work on other devices as well, and we offer a free digital planner on our website at breezyorganization.com for you to try before you buy. Uh, but we love talking about all things productivity and just the best way to plan and also have fun with our planners. And we have new releases every Sunday, and today it is Sunday, so we have a brand new release for you today and we've actually are releasing four small products today so we are really excited to get into those and show you what we have so getting on with our video today I'm going to I already have some of the things in my planner so instead of dragging each thing in like I normally do in my videos I kind of made it a little bit quicker today because we do have four different products to get through so what we're going to start with today are two widget packs that we have everything that we have offered today are is travel related. So if you love to travel, adventure, or it doesn't necessarily mean that you travel a lot and out of state, but it just means if you have adventures, if you take your kids swimming or if um, you, you know, go into the city for a night or just any kind of adventure, this, these packs would be great for you. Okay. So we're going to start off here with one of our travel widget release packs. So we have two different travel widgets that we are, we are releasing today. One is just a travel to it's travel T W O because we already have a travel pack but a customer reached out to me and said that she needed a few more things uh, to make the travel widget pack complete so we've come out with a version two um, and there were a few things that I needed as well to finish planning out our vacation so that is what this pack is you get 13 different travel widgets with this pack and this is four of them what they look like and I'll show you what the rest of them look like here in just a minute but first we have a travel to do so we have two of these one is just blank and it has uh, spots for to do and then this one has 12 months out six months three months one month one week and one day and then we have several widgets like this that are really really cute that say dining explore uh, food uh, this one says explore travel list so then you have one two three and four you can either write down the places that these um, are places that you want to go on your trip and then you can write in the names of them or you just slip, simply leave it one two three and four and have it documented somewhere else where these places are that you want to go see this instant shot list I absolutely love you can do white writing here and write in the location or destination that you're going to be at but going through instant Instagram or through Pinterest and finding those really cool shots and angles whenever you're actually traveling sometimes you forget different angles and different shots that you want to take and having a list like this that you've already seen some really cool shots taken if you love memory keeping like I do, I like to get some really cool different shots. And so I like to keep track of the places that we're going and some different shots that people have taken there. So I kind of have an idea um, of different angles that I can take and kind of get a similar shot. So I thought that one was really, really fun. Um, and then we have a travel review. So whenever your traveling is over, your adventure is over, you have a little review where you put your destination, the date, what your favorite thing was, the rating, and then what some of your, you can list your favorites or write in what a favorite memory or whatever and then any notes that way if you ever go to this place in the future or if you have any friends that ask you about it you could simply screenshot this to them or this just gives you a great recap of your trip so that's four widgets that come in that pack and then now I'm going to open this up on the side and show you some of the other widgets that come in this pack as well Okay, so then you have another widget that's just like this one, except it's going to say attractions. Another one says dining. Another one says explore. Another one says food. Another one says hiking. And another one says rides. So it should cover anything that you do. And then we have this other widget here that is called destination. So this is great no matter where you're going. It has destination and all the details. So then you put the hours it's open, the cost, the parking, any information and notes that you have on that. And then we have theme park info. So this one was requested and it's basically the same thing. Your hours, the cost and parking for any theme park and then any information and notes that you have on that. And then we have the travel review like we showed you and then we have the travel to do. So this is just a generic to do that you can put on any of your daily, monthly or weekly spreads. 
and then we have the broken down to do one and then of course the insta shot list so you get 13 different widgets in that pack so really really fun really cute um, and then we have on our second uh, travel pack widget pack that we have is the travel memory widgets so these are all dedicated to memories so if you have one of our daily planners or you want to use one of these extra pages over here to document your trip without having an, an extra planner um, you can use these on your daily or your weekly um, and basically they're all laid out different but they say day one day two day three day four day five day six all the way up to day seven and then we have travel favorites we have one widget that's just travel favorites so you get eight different widgets with that I won't show you all the different layouts but this is similar to what you will be getting and you can see here how I've added in pictures from each day I haven't done the journaling yet but what a fun and really cute way to document uh, your traveling some of them has a little bit more journaling other ones hardly have any journaling at all but lots of spots for your pictures and sometimes you remember so much more if you actually document your trip while you're in the trip and so I think this is a really really fun way to do that and these widgets make it really cute and um, of course you could put down everything that you were doing in the days up here on your calendar and then you could reference the photos below I just think that's a really really fun and cute way to use your planner and I'm always looking for ways that I can incorporate me memory keeping into my planner I am really loving how that turned out so we have um, one travel widget pack that's called travel Two, and that's for planning your traveling or your adventure and then we have the travel memory widgets and that is going to be basically different widgets with different layouts from one to seven and then one that says um, travel favorites and you can just put your favorite photos on one widget and some journaling so that's a look at those next we have um, another smaller release it's travel memory stickers so if you remember seeing our travel um, not our travel, but our just a memory keeper um, planner. We added really cute stickers in to those pages to kind of make it more like a scrapbook feel. This is a whole page dedicated to travel. So like this sticker is all one. It says travel, travel, travel. We have yum, best day ever, favorite spot, this place, hometown favorite, which is great. We all have those favorite restaurant, favorite thing to do. Um, these cute little icons. I love the Disney castle, ready for an adventure. Hello adventure, ride of the day, a little heart here and there, this view, this photo, wonderless and totally worth the wait like if you're waiting in line for a ride I think that one's really fun or say you hiked to a really cool um, overlook that was a really great sticker to use as well and then we have this really fun grid pattern I'm going to explain to you in just a moment so let's give you um, some examples of this but first I'm going to show you um, what our fourth release is for today and that is our travel memory keeper so I'm calling this a traveler's notebook um, but it's a traveler's um, or travel memory planner and here is what it looks like it turned out so sweet it gives um, the look of a leather traveler's notebook has these really fun things popping out at the sides you'll see these pictures on um, the pages and anytime you see these photos like up in this top left hand corner anytime you click those it's going to close your book so it's going to take you to this page so there are no tabs or anything in this book because this is just supposed to be an ongoing traveler's notebook you can always bookmark um, pages if you want to get to them or hit these four squares up in the corner to see what you have on some pages but I'm gonna flip through show you a little bit of how I am using this travelers notebook and how fun it can be so right out of the gate let me show you what it's going to look like okay you're gonna be presented with pages that look like this so this one's kind of blank this one gives you gray spots here that you're just gonna add in a picture so say you find a picture that you like you are going to I've been doing a lot of product pictures so let's go down here to a regular picture so say I'm gonna use this picture here you're gonna click it and then you are going to downsize and see that this is um, a portrait picture but we need to make it square so we're gonna tap on it because we're on the image icon and we're gonna hit crop and then I am just gonna crop this down to where it kind of looks more like a square and hit done and I'm probably gonna to have to adjust it a little bit more okay it looks like I need to take some off of the side so let's just take some off of the side and they don't have to be perfect they're just there the guides are just there and then the next picture that you do you can make it a little bit smaller as well um, and just kind of keep it going the same size that way I'm gonna make mine just a little bit smaller there we go 
Okay, so then basically what you're going to do is you're just going to import your pictures and put them here, and then you can write some stuff in here. And then if you have our traveler stickers, you're going to go over to those. You're going to hit the lasso tool and say you want to do this um, ready for adventure. So we're going to copy that. We're going to go back over here, and we are going to paste it up here. And let's go back and grab, let's grab this little photo icon and paste that one here and make this really cute opening for this page. And then you can just simply write in or type in your journaling and then add two more pictures and you're done with a scrapbook spread. Really, really fun, really easy to use. So you're gonna just scroll over, see this one has a spot for four pictures. So you can go through um, these little, like you can click on this tab up here and kind of go through and see how many pictures you have. Um, I think 24 different spreads in here. So you can kind of see how many pictures you have and how many you may wanna put in there. And then what you would do is you can just click on these and you can duplicate a page and it's going to add that same template behind it and then you could just simply click on that page and then decorate and do this page and then you can keep all of your templates toward the back time that I finished one, which I didn't duplicate this one, but anytime I finished one, I simply held over and just drug it right there to where all of my finished pages are in a roll. And then you just want to duplicate each time so you have all of your blank templates here on the bottom. If you don't, it's not a big deal. You can always duplicate one of these as well. You just don't want to delete them. If you delete any of the pages, you won't get that template back. So um, it's super easy. That's uh, basically how you're going to use it. And I'll go through and I'll show you some of the layouts and how I am using it. So let's go ahead and this is one of my first pages. I just added this writing down the side. It says Alaska Cruise and told about our trip and have some cute pictures. Um, our Disney vacation with our little girl back when she was three. Explore more. The scenic route. This one says this. And then I just added writing down here at the bottom. Um, this one has Adventure Always on it. And I added our pictures here. Very, very easy to get them to match up. It is not as hard as what it looks and not as time consuming as what you may think either. This one I added this play sticker, which is found on this sticker pack here. This one comes with this in here, and then I added some of our insects. So if you have any of these blank pages, this is a really fun way to use those. I added just these really cute blank insects pictures. Um, this one comes like this, travel, eat, sleep, repeat. It comes with those. You just import your pictures here. I added a little bit of writing. This one, I added some of our stickers, right? So you can use any of the stickers from the shop. This was um, our 4th of July weekend. So I used a lot of our 4th of July stickers on this page and it really makes it pop and you immediately know what the page is about as soon as you get to the 4th of July stickers there. And this is what I just showed you a few minutes ago. So really, really easy and fun to use. Anytime you're in the planner, you can click on these photos up in the top left and it's going to close the planner for you. So really, really fun um, using that. And then I'm going to show you I have a few more pages here where I actually use more of the stickers so I'm going to scroll down here to this page okay this um, page let me just show you how it came actually let me show you on this one okay Okay, so this is how the page looked blank. And then this is how it looks filled in. So it already has travel story up here. I added in our pictures, which is exactly how it shows to add in your pictures over here. And then I added in these really cute stickers, which are all found on the new travel memory stickers. And then I added the travel, travel, travel up here. And then I took this other sticker and I put it sideways. So it says best day ever. And that is this sticker right here. Um, and then I just added in our pictures here and then I added in the typed writing and it is not hard to add in the writing whenever you are writing and you need a space to lay on these lines exactly right. All you have to do is hit this align button up here. Whoops. You hit this align button up here and you'll see this. It says line spacing. You're going to drag this bar until they sit on the lines right. So what I did is I made the sizing what I want. I changed the font to what I want. I added in all the writing that I wanted. I made, I took this blue little thing and I made it um, the width that I needed it to be. And then at the very end, I clicked this and I adjusted the lines to where it would sit on there um, nicely. And it does not take but just a couple of minutes to get that done. And then you have a really, really cute 
memory page. And if you're like me and you like doing scrapbooking, I do love doing it, but I don't always have the time to do it. So I love to have these memories that takes me five minutes to do after we get done doing a fun little adventure that day, have it all written down. If I want to do a physical uh, planner page of it later, I have all the details written down already. But while I'm gone and I have my iPad Air um, with me, I can get that out and show anybody if they're interested in seeing my pictures or if we're with family or if we're with somebody that wants to go and travel the same spot, I can show them what we did. It's really fun to have with you all the time and having all the templates already in there ready takes all the hard work out of it. All you get to do is the fun part. So um, all the fun adding the stickers, the journaling and the photos and it just makes it really, really easy. I absolutely love the way that this turned out. And then if you click those little pictures, it takes you right back to that first page of your traveler's notebook. So I absolutely love our little releases this week. I know I've been doing a lot of travel stuff lately and this will be the last travel release for a little while. So uh, if you're definitely wanting anything like that, I would definitely snag these up. So what we have today, just to go over, we have a traveler's planner release with 24 different templates ready to use out of the box um, that you can just paste your pictures in and do some journaling in your set. And then we have the travel memory stickers, which makes the traveler planner a lot more fun to use. And of course you can use these on any of your planners as well. Um, these would be really, really cute to just document, add in your life planner if you're using that. And then you could add in those little Instax uh, pictures and just document, you know, in your calendar spread, which I often do that as well. And then we have our two widget packs. We have the widget travel two, and that's going to be to help document your traveling, your destination, your theme, uh, your Instagram shots, all of those really, really fun ones. Here's four of those that we showed at the beginning of the video. And then our fourth release was the um, memory widget. So um, if you like to do it more in the calendar and not have a separate planner, we've got you covered seven different days um, along with a travel or adventure favorites um, widget that you can use on any of your weekly, daily, or monthly spreads. Or again, you could use it on one of your extra tabs. I am honestly loving the way that all of these have turned out. I think this Insta shot list was just one of those, oh, that's such a great idea. And it's just something that I'm going to use. I'm sure there's a few other crazy travel uh, people out there that absolutely would love this idea as well. I hope I'm not the only one. And then lots of fun travel stickers. This grid sticker, um, I forgot to show you guys a while ago. I can definitely show you guys that now. I did use that on this page here. So this is how you're going to use that grid sticker that kind of looks kind of crazy. What I did here is this is a blank page and I just added in a picture of me and my son and then I used this washi sticker. So this washi sticker um, is from our washi pack. So let me hit stickers. It's from our washi sticker pack here. So I just grabbed one of these and then um, I put it over there so it looks like it's taped in. And then I put this um, grid stamp in here first and then I added in some of our stickers. I added in our location and I meant to add in that little geotag where it showed the location but I forgot to do that. I added in text that told all about our little adventure and then I added in text right inside of GoodNotes that says August and then I put six the date. So it was really kind of cool to keep everything kind of separate. It's this new way of documenting that I found uh, since I do this in my physical um, stuff as well. So kind of a new way that you can do it there and I wanted to add that ability into the digital world as well. Some more close-ups of this planner. I love the looks of the leather along the side. It's so easy to document all of your memories and I love being able to take this and show people different places that we've been um, or family members that are asking uh, questions and it's just super fun. I mean it is absolutely fun having these full page photos where it looks like it's in like a magazine. I love love the looks of it. You can always add insta uh, frames to make it extra. There's so many different things that you can do. So we are loving the release today. We hope that you are too. Again this will be our last travel release for a little while. We do have some September stickers coming up. We have some mom stickers coming up. We have lots and lots of fun things coming out that we think you guys are going to love. So be sure to stick around for our new releases on Sundays on Instagram. We're trying to post more on there and give you guys more inspiration. So be sure to follow us over there if you are not yet. We will be doing giveaways soon. Um, we want to start seeing other people's spreads using our planners. So if you tag us, you're going to start getting points and some free products and some one-of-a-kind stickers. We have lots and lots of stuff in store for you all. So if you have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comments down below. Give this a video a like if you enjoyed it and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching.